way, the Harlem Shake. That's the song I'm looking for. Thank you so much, Harry, for saving me right here with Astralis Vitality ready to go back at it. And certainly we are ready to run away from the desk in this moment. So let's keep it up. Yeah, time to close your book, close the script, because we got 50 more stories here on Vertigo to start off this second map. It's yeah, Vitality's did, pick. Did you ever release your Harlem Shake video? No. <laughs> I'm so glad that's dead. Wow. It's dead silence right now as Vitality sneak up this A ramp. Wow. And now the silence is broken as they smoke it off. Uh oh. It being the site, of course. There is a double nade set up to try and deny this bomb plant, and in they go. But it was the fake from Vitality. However, there is still a man down for the Frenchman. Zai Wu removed through the smoke. These USPs, like crickets, just chiming off on the other side. Can't spam forever, though. Crickets sound like. Smokes go down. Vitality may have had a wall, so do Astralis. One on the short side, Device tries to play it, and oh my dear, they rush him down. Running and gunning through the smoke. Mizuta with three, and it's, it's done. It's done, as quick as you like it. That is a mad pistol round. Vitality just flying through together. I love it. Vertigo with these Vertiglobals. Yeah, it's hilarious how this meta has evolved to, to just the immediate fake plant. If anyone ever gets a sight for free on a pistol round, or most rounds, they're always going to tap that. Dupree's changed colors. Well, he's cha in blue. He probably changes colors per map, and it makes sense. You know, that's what I makes think sense, yeah. everyone does that at home. Uh, I mean, I can't possibly be the only one. Obviously, Dupree's doing it too, so. <laughs> Y'all are pathetic. <laughs> More nades for Astralis. They've got some plans. I never like it when Astralis have plans. That scares me. There's a lot that scares me. Hides, spiders. Well, would you look at that? Crawling around the map for Astralis. What? It's actually Dupree. Good for one on the Apex, but it's Masuda with the response. How? You know, they just... Sometimes they get map control. They run the clock down. They hit a few shots. And they play the map out. Man, Dupree, he is very fortunate to get that kill. He was not ready for them to be so deep. Grenades going deep. Oh dear, the D spamming away. S tag with one. The smoke buys some time. RPK is in the site. They hear him. So we're making noise and dropped by the MAC-10. This is a messy round. Astralis, don't tell me they're going to win another force after the pistol. They want both of them oh. back on nuke. RPK getting nuked by the grenade. And surely the D can finish it off. He takes a great shot, but backs off. And Vitality have a chance to slow the pace down, but Astralis want to speed it back up. They're wrapping the short side. They've still never seen Magisk on the boost either. They don't know that he's here. And as they try and move in, RPK puts up another. He's bought this. Oh, he's just doing it single handedly. RPK, the tank is out and he's spanking these Danes left and right. Magisk left in the 1v2. Deagle out. Deagle's out for the boys and they swing together. <laughs> it's close, but not close enough. Masuta able to see that round through to the very end. But Dupree gave that a little head nod. He's content with it. Yeah, my attempt to Astralis to force back in, right? You only survive with one player if you're Vitality there, so Astralis could definitely break that money early. And look how close they got it the first time. Some of those nades were saved for later in the round when Vitality were on the site. Could have been even more devastating. But no, the eco. The smart choice. Con las terroristas. Terroristas? I mean, back it, on the Harlem Shake. I, well, once it's in your head, man, until you hear it, you can't really knock it, can you? Like, it's just kind of there. And then I got to think about that this whole map while watching Vertigo. It's kind of weird, but anyway, just a personal problem. Uh oh. Well, Astralis about to have a personal problem. Problem with Apex. Oh, dear. Oh, my. At least it's traded. Two players on A gone. Astralis are calling for help. Uh oh. Oh! Glaive tries to get stuck in. But Zai Wu just deletes Dupree back in CT through the wall bang. And that there should really solidify the round for Vitality. Astralis is still looking to take guns away. Vitality gonna try and move in. They've anticipated the, uh, the crossfire being set up here. And now Device with the Deagle not able to land anything. 
The Mac 10s hunt him down. Vitality, it's 3 0. They overcome the boost. They deal with this round well. And now we have the reinvestment coming in for Astralis. And look at all the Astralis fans out in full force. Kenny said in an interview the other day uh, that Vertigo is his favorite map to warp on, funnily enough. We'll see if that holds true with the other Frenchmen in this squad. Right now, no AWP for Zaiwu though, just back to the max with the AKs around it. It's a fast play up A. Oh, they boost up to try and get an angle through the smoke. Glavis ducks below the sandbags though, and S-Tag can't be seen hidden on the right side. Oh, there's the headshot. Great little boost there from Vitality. Man advantage. The spray is back though. Astralis are making it expensive. They're making it painful as they put a lot of damage into the bodies of Vitality. The AWP is still here as well, lurking around middle. As Vitality sent two players there. Last round. Or two rounds ago, rather. So I will faking A alone. His teammates have gone back to B. Apex has advanced position and the flash up. Vitality run it down. There's no one here. It might have to be a save for Astralis. If they knew how much damage was done, this round would be a lot more doable, but they don't. And so they might just, yeah, I think you're right, Hugo. They're not budging. They're not moving. Device, passion for danger. Standing on the edge of the map, going to hop back over. But this will just be the save. Vitality off to a rip-roaring start here on the second map. Their map pick in this series, looking to take us the distance. Lazy wondering as well. I believe that the game that was on the second stream is drawn to a close. And of course, there we saw Fury at take it 2-0 over Triumph. With a 16-2 on Inferno, no less, to round that one out. That's a great idea. I've not seen uh, this exact boost before. Just over the top of the smoke, getting a pick early. Glaive could barely be seen. And yeah, it's a rough round to lose for Astralis, but what can you do? Now you're ready. The Vitality are going to be going for those late rotates back to B if they get given the chance. So things being quiet should make you consider both options. So many people just lean away from B in this map. And well, I don't blame them with how little we see that site taken at this level. Device with the orb above the smoke of his own. He's gone for his solo boost on the railing. Looking for a head. Looking to get ahead, but... Oh, not off the map, Device. Careful. He's at the edge right now. Oh, oh, there it is, of course. Just random shot, takes down shocks. Device sees all. The all-seeing eye. S-Tag playing at the sandbags. They don't even know. But now they will. That Molotov's going to come out. It's going to be just enough for his teammate yeah. to throw it off. And I, and I love this play because it just throws just such a, a mind game into the works. Yeah, you're going to do that a lot. And, and not always is there going to be someone there. So Vitality are actually gonna, probably going to use another molly or a nade. Oh, oh dear, the nade misses. That one. They have a molly, but s has a smoke. And so if another one comes down, okay, yeah, well, fine, I'm here. I, yeah, I'll admit it, but I'll also swing you. And Apex uses his molly deep. They're not even going to consider s tag here. They think it's clear. They think it's a fake. And that can come back to bite them. s tag bite it is time, but he's only good for one from the concealed position at the sandbags. That has left Astralis in this three-on-two at least. He's giving them a doable round. The nade finds a bit of chip damage onto RPK. They're setting up for the retake now. They've got a smoke to try and facilitate it. Glaive's like, get out my way. <laughs> Line this one get out up. of the way. Here it is, flying over. It's gonna land to try and cut off the uh, the bomb directly, but namely this ramp player. Zaiwu glues close to the smoke, spams through, gets a bit of returning fire on the other side, but RPK only good for one. Zaiwu gets them off the bomb, and even as the kill comes in, Glaive, I don't think there's time on that one, and there's not. It's five and over Vitality as they close out the two on three. Ah, do that hurts. They had it, two taps on the bomb, even Dupree sticking it as well, but Zywu playing so close, they couldn't take him down. Gets Dupree off at the last second. And I love that play from, from Astralis with S-Tag on the, the sandbags, right? Apex yeah. is looking at it so much, but he can't stay there forever for all he knows there's no one there. And I'm sure Astralis, they won't, 
you know, next time Vitality molly that, they'll probably sm smoke it if they have the chance, even if there's no one there, just to keep up that idea. Keep that in the back of the mind for Vitality. Dupree pushed down on B, aggressive as well. He's crashed out, does catch RBK, re-aggresses on the stairwell. Apex with the bomb, if he dies here, that could be massive, but the trade is in instead. The flash actually misses, Glaive throws it, but it bounces back. And so that's gonna be a trade for Vitality. Glaive flashed in for another fight. That utility sends Vitality back. This is still a very strong start to the map. Considering it could have been Astralis manhandling in the second round and winning their Deagle Force, they brought it to a one-on-one. -on -one. They didn't quite get it, though. And if they did, this would be a very different game right now. But Astralis have been trying to toe the line and get back into this map. Yeah, to field around. This could be it. Four on four. Vitality slow it down outside B. Looking for a lurk, looking for an aggressive CT on a flank, but Astralis aren't making the moves just yet. Device has all the info down on A. Shock's trying to flash him off to feign a rotate, but it won't it won't work, it won't matter. S tag does hang around, but there's still two players towards B for Astralis. That's all the pressure is on Glaive and Magisk to actually hold on, to actually do something. They're getting overwhelmed and Magisk, while he does put up one, he loses his teammate and he needs to go huge. Helped out by S-Tag and now Zaiwu falling as well. It's all on to Apex, another man disadvantage for Vitality. They're going to look to try and close out. The bomb retrieved and now looking to go down. They try and rush him as he's putting in those numbers and they oh. will find the kill. S-Tag very, very quick on the retake. And so finally, Astralis break the silence and find their first round. And, and I will say, I mean, we've been watching S-Tag as a player for a while, but it just, you get the vibe that there's just a little bit more pep in his step almost. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's strange. It's hard to explain or quantify, but I, I mean, it's there. And that's my personal opinion. So I don't know if they agree with that or not. Well, the first round on the board for the Danish side. Five to one, though, still. Vitality with a foot up in the series. And by that, I mean just this map because they lost the first one, 16-10. Yeah, but this is like a great pocket pick for Vitality to have. One that they've also not played a huge amount. So Astralis aren't going to be looking to them on it. But also, yeah, okay, Astralis, sure. They've probably been cracking this one behind enemy or behind uh, oh, in practice. I can't even get that sentence out. Regardless. Vitality can't anti-strat Astralis on this map. They don't know what they're bringing to the table, but right now it's working wonderfully. Vitality have all the ideas. They've crept past Glaive. Zaiwu is up on the ramp. Glaive has no idea. The smoke will give away his position, but Zaiwu's already taken a kill. He doesn't react. Glaive uh, pounces back, but Shox now has him trapped in the corner, dodging the flash. Glaive tries to rush, and Shox will hit a great shot. Doesn't want to die off the trade, though. S-Tag looking through that close corner. Vitality go elsewhere. They send the bomb in the middle. That's an important kill for Magis. Oh no, he can drop the bomb. And there it is at the feet in mid. RPK is trying to take B. And even if he gets this kill, it's not worth that much because he's got to get the package back out of middle. Do they back up to do it? That seems like the cool grouping up. S tag gets aggressive on A. And RPK goes to join Shocks back in spawn. This is weird because S Tag is going to probably miss the timing if they go back to the bomb. But if they get the bomb, they can go anywhere because no one's watching it. This is very weird. S Tag's been tagged. RBK stabs him in the back. And Vitality aren't even thinking about the bomb right now. They're just getting kills. They've got to go for it eventually. Time is low. They're going to expect Magis on it. He got two kills in mid. And that time, that hesitance, it could slow them down to a point where they lose the round to the clock. They basically have to go B now. Magis is already there. He's made a big flank. And even denying the bomb plant and then getting the hell out of danger maybe is all Magis needs to do. They're going to start to clear the site. RPK blindsided. Shox gets off the bomb. He now needs the kill. Magis just needs to hide, but Shox oh. hunts him down. And with a second left, puts a sixth round on the board for Vitality. Saved by Shoxy and not the bell. That's what, that's what Astralis were hoping for. Yeah, Magis, I think he thought that Shox was going to do the old, you know, fake -a where you run around one side and then swap last second. Didn't look ready for the immediate fight. I'm um, running out of ammo there as well, so had to play the pistol. No time for a reload. Shocks just domed him with a Glock. 
great round for Vitality. I, I, yes, yeah, so close for Astralis. That one's got to hurt, especially S-Tag coming in on that big flank off bottom A. Like, why are they still bottom B is probably the question he's asking themselves. Vitality took so long to get that bomb, but Shox hunts down Magis and makes it all worth his while. 6-1. Dominant stuff right now for Vitality. Astralis, they showed us their worth on Nuke, but here on the 50th story, it could be a different story. Well, at this point, yeah. I mean, that one came down to one second. Wild. And we're off again. This time, Vitality have set their sights on A for the time being. Five deep. Glade about to have a whole welcome party on the ramp. Down to 40 HP already, 48 to be exact. And the only damage in response has been a grenade that lands at Zywu's feet, takes him down to 67. Everybody just wants to play a smoke all the time. Magisk is looking like he's maybe considering a mid push. Ooh. Silent weapon trade, respect. Oh, S tag spotted now. This is where problems can arise. Apex just gonna barrel out of ramp and Device does manage the trade at least. Can he get any more though? They're already up the ramp. Device gonna try and play around this smoke and he spotted Zaiwu at the sandbags. Could surprise him. Could be a nasty little Zaiwu shaped surprise. It sounds so much more gross that way, but... <laughs> <laughs> does retrieve another smoke, so he's able to drop that. Device is going to try this again. Daiwu oh. waiting patiently, gets that kill delivered to him on a silver platter. S-Tag has pushed short side, but this is something that Vitality is surely going to be ready for. They saw him earlier on, and RPK is holding it. Dupree hasn't even left B. So already this might just have to be a save. Magis oh. trying to deny a plant, but Shox just snipes him out of the round. And Vitality will reach seven. Dear, oh dear. Astralis are getting gamed here on Vitality's map pick. It's not what we expected, even though we weren't sure what to expect for Astralis here. They haven't got the answers. They're trying different things. Vitality's taking it very slow once they get this A-ramp control. Astralis boded into taking the fights on the ramp, and they're not winning them. We haven't had any like big multi-kills really from Astralis on this A defense. We've had players putting up one-for-ones, S-Tag on the sandbags, but he's been getting red on these short wraps. And unfortunate for S-Tag on that timing as well. If he went any earlier, RPK was bottom ramp holding the flank for a while. And then as soon as Vitality starts to take sight, they're not watching the ramp. They're not, or, or they're not watching short rather. RBK comes to take it, but S-Tag definitely could have come out behind them. Obviously, he wasn't to know, and you don't want to push from Vitality are holding, and they've been doing that a lot. 7-1. And another low buy for Astralis. It's all they can muster. Save gun with pistols round it. Vitality, will they keep it up? Well, they will lean over here towards A once again. Scoped up at the ramp. Not really much for Astralis to work with in this round. They've got a partial buy. They've got to try and see it through with that. We see the three nades, so perhaps there's a bigger play at mind here. S-Tag having one of those grenades is absolutely getting wrecked by Mizuda. There was no question. It was going to happen. Now the bomb's going to get planted. and Well, the remainder of the grenades are nowhere within reach. Two Deagles and M4 left on the table and five alive for Vitality. Quite the starch contrast. And on that note, an eighth round on the board for Vitality. Astralis are getting wrecked on their CT side. Yeah, this is just great methodical play from Vitality. Like they've clearly been doing a lot of work on this map and while they've not been tending to play it, it's it's things like these, like saving this map for a game like this, where it really shows up. Where all that practice pays off. 
for, ex uh, for example, a comparison to make is Astralis, right? In both these series against Vitality back at Cologne and here, they've vetoed Overpass as their second ban. We actually asked Magis why that was the case back in Cologne, and he said the Vitality have a good Overpass, which is true. But uh, I'm going to continue to peddle the conspiracy theory that Astralis saving Overpass for the right time. Yeah, if there's one thing 2020 hasn't had enough of, it's conspiracy theories. <laughs> and... Just oh, outright craziness. I mean, it's yeah. been a pretty slow year. Ooh. Oof. Brutal way to lose a man early on. Nice try oh to peek down the ramp, but he's going to come to regret that. And Zai Wu's even closing the distance here. Up he goes, but the trade is in for S Tag, okay. who looks for a little bit more, puts up quite the hold. And finally, Astralis, they're in a, they're in a situation that doesn't look half bad. Got him. They're going to keep keep working away right here, Vitality. Oh, so you want to fight on the ramp? You want to take the ramp? Not this round. It's our ramp. Grenade lands at Magisk. Leaves him <gasps> down to 55. RPK. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Just hit escape and go to that report button because that was ridiculous. Yeah, it didn't even come up through this smoke on the kill feed. I mean, it technically wasn't. The vice could see, but he was sitting inside of that smoke. Just crouched in the corner looking for a gap. And of course, he just takes the headshot. Astralis, they might do it. They might find their second round. Never thought I'd be saying it like that, but Vitality have made them work for even the kills. Shox is going to continue to do so. They've got the money. You may as well go on a bit of a scavenger hunt, look for a, a kill on the rotate. B is open, right? You kill Glaive, B is open. So actually, I say that device is actually flanked all the way around and come back from bottom B. So B is not open anymore. And not that Shox was getting there anyway. Glaive is there, ready and waiting. And that's going to be another round for Astralis. Two on the board. Slow and steady wins the race, eh? Yeah, my Oi. We finally have that multi-kill that we've been waiting for. S-Tag with a double up on the A site. Device does the same in the round with this. And then a follow-up with the Deagle onto RPK. So a couple of multi-kills for Astralis. It was about time. Yeah, we were waiting for it. They finally lock in that second round. Once again, it's back to an A play, and this time, Shox is going to get the better of them. An opening kill, and Zai Wu continuing with this little maneuver. He's done this time and time again, based on, you know, just regardless of how well this ramp duel goes, he's always playing close to these smokes. Oh Lots of noise made by S-Tag on the drop down. And he does get mopped up. This top ramp proven to be the uh, kind of lifeline in this game for whoever has the control, as is often the case, and it's a bloody skirmish to get it. Vitality have once again won this out, and now they sit in a five on three. They slow it right down. Yeah, man. Estag would have probably had that kill onto Zaiwu, who's looking up at short despite the drop. It's the step on Wood that alerts him to his position and turns quickly deal with him. Eight to two and a five on three. Magist dodges the flash, but they can come from either side. His teammates smoked off on the site. So Glaive wants to try and help, but he can't really call or con much. And all the Astralis are calling is there's no one here. Is it B? RBK is trying to sell that exact fake and Astralis is going to fall for it. This is a great little rotate call from Vitality. Sending one man into B has drawn everyone away from A. One hangs out, but not for long. Magist gets a kill and he gets traded. RPK dropped a B, and the bomb plant allowed. All that did was pull Astralis away from the site, away from those close short positions for a mere couple of seconds, and that's all the time Vitality needed to get the bomb planted. Oh, dear. Well, Clay's been out of action for a little while, and has forgotten the Astralis way with nades. He has to relearn that. Now leave, try and save. This is a very one-sided affair right now. And it's not really showing any signs of stopping, you know, like the, the rounds that Astralis have had, and no matter how close they've been able to get them, it's always relied on just like one player or two players stepping up and really going like above and beyond the, uh, the call, call of, of duty. duty. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Which happens to be another game. So. Well, on your feet. At home, this is the seventh inning stretch. I know that you two have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Yes. But for everyone else, we can sing it in the chat. 
I'm just kidding. We don't have to do that. I don't even know if chat can sing together. They can barely count to 100 together, so. What I will notice is, or what I do notice is Shock's playing the AWP over Zywu in all of these rounds. So, oh, that's so unlucky. Apex walks through the smoke and kills Magis. But yeah, Shock's, he's been getting those opening kills in rounds gone by. Interesting to see that switch up here on Vertigo. Or oh, tries to chase him down. Device does get away, but S tag is not quite as fortunate. I think Astralis need to give up these ramp fights. They are not working out. They are starting every round three on five. And they even got faked in the last after that happened. Glaive close to middle. Oh, he gets past the orb somehow. He's going to go back for more. Mizzou is tucked on the left. Glaive doesn't seem ready for that one if he gets swung. Device has been burnt out on the A site as well. Dupree trades onto Apex, but still a four on two. Still a favorable fight for Vitality. Glaive's footsteps running away have been heard. And, ooh, back down the ladder. Shoxy goes with the all. It will be B for RPK, but not for long as Glaive sends him out. And they could just group up and take this A site as they have been doing most of these rounds. That seems to be the plan for Vitality. Yeah, Dupree at least gets the early info, but now he's got to go absolutely huge. There's one for Dupree. They now know that he is short side into the two on two. Even odds now. This has been reclaimed by Astralis. It was a very shaky start to this round. And now they're trying to stumble back to their feet, Ooh. but a burnout for Glaive. But Dupree finished off by Shoxi. It's double digits now for the Frenchman as the dominance of Vertigo continues from Vitality. Yeah, and those peanuts and Cracker Jacks, they aren't going to taste any better, I can tell you that just from the grandstands over here. Timeout coming through though. You can imagine it's Astralis just trying to figure their entire lives out as this one has kind of fell right on their head. Yeah, I imagine they're, they're figuring out this A ramp situation, right? Because while it may be something they tend towards in practice, something that they get a lot of consistency out of, as, as you often do is like a, a strong CT AWP, for example, like Device peaking that ramp. It's not working right now. Vitality are winning every duel there. They're boosting. They're walking through smokes. They're playing it late. They're faking Astralis away from the A site. Like, there's just so many things for Vitality that are going right right now. And, and these are some great, cool T rounds from Apex. Astralis, do they move away from it? I hope so. Replace it with a utility. We see, the, like, uh, Harry, I'm going to bring up, bring up that 100 Thieves game that you mentioned on Nuke, where they just had so many incredible HE grenades towards the A ramp that softened up their opponents before they even took the site. The problem is Vitality aren't being loud and running up A off of spawn. And Astralis go, oh, well, nade timing is now. They don't know when the nade timing is because Vitality are playing it so slow and quiet. Device is lining one up. He's hoping his teammates can call when is appropriate. But when is appropriate? Because Vitality, they're not making any noise. They're going with two middle, two holding the A push, and one holding B. It's a very passive round for a 10-2 scoreline, but it's what has got them here in the first place. Round 13 of 30 in those double digits, you're right. They've just slipped on in there. Glaive with a quick peek down on the lower side of B ramp. But don't you worry. The party, well, usually ends up at A no matter what. This time, it's got a different shape. It's got a different face. Even got a different look. Dupree is going to have the drop, and they're going to swarm. They want to try to get this frag. It's just not that easy. Dupree drops the smoke and bides them some more time. Oh, back to A. Oh, that's uh, no. Right, get him out. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get Mihao on the line here for that one. That one seemed a little fish in a big pond. Well, we know who is the apex predator of that big pond. Masuta now moving in from middle. Oh, and tag not even reacting. Keep spraying the smoke. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Oh, so blind for device and just glaive left. He's six and nine on the board. Man, what could he even do, man? Honestly, the answer is nothing. I hate to have to tell you all that, but that's not right. going to lie to you. Device gets double flash. He hears the pin pull. He turns perfectly, looks back, knowing he's going to get peaked, and then boom, a second flash pops in the same position. You reckon Just Dupree up. after that round is sat there like, this is why I hate Vertigo. Because <laughs> he this got is jumped. why I hate Vertigo. That's just all he keeps saying. No one can even get any any useful words out of him. Yeah, but, but like, what do you really think? I hate Vertigo. <laughs> like, they're trying to make calls. They're trying to rally the troops. And then Dupree's like, 
Fine. Let's just go next. That's, that's crazy. Look, watch this. Fine. Yeah, right, dude. Get out of here, reported. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> Not even uh, shocks can believe it. Even the pretty uh, Wait, what? What do I even do there? Yeah. What, what happened, mate? What can he do? Maybe he needs to change his room to red again. Dear, oh dear, Astralis getting swept. Shocks with the orb. He's had a lot of opening kills, but they've already crossed past and Dupree with one. Good luck getting out of there with Shocks on the other side, but some shots in the legs, and he will be thrown off the side. His body falling 50 stories, and Apex finding that kill has kept things in a four on four. And this is like, this is the bread and butter for Vitality. They love having this four on four so they can now get in the heads of Astralis. Sweat it out, fake a sight, take the other one. But right now, Astralis have a lot of control. Glaive is pushed down ramp. We've not seen this position too much in this round, in this map so far. He's going to get pushed in. Apex turns because he actually blinds himself. Glaive does get whited, but he gets away with the kill. And that's everything for Astralis. S-Tag spotting them in middle. Doesn't want to go down here without taking one with him. But imagine oh, with this spray and B, it's perfect. Shock flashing both his teammates not what they needed and now he's got to make up for it yeah shocks just too many enemies too little time yeah and you know you you guys joke about Dupree changing the lights in his room but I just want to say that as a owner of some hue bulbs if you sync it to your computer and you play counter-strike and you get flash banged it is an overwhelming experience in the room. The room goes white. I don't know. The whole room goes I, just straight white. I don't want that. That doesn't it's sound a like lot. a good experience. It, it is a whole lot. Off. I don't want to be actually stunned in real life. It's like know? reactive oh. to sound, too. Oh. Oh. Huh. Unboost and it lands. I was going to land on the other side there towards B. And I think they might suspect it. And it's Dupree. Yeah. Little Aki Momo here as he waits for the rest of the team. They know the run boost was successful. They might as well bring the cavalry. But I say that Zaiwu gets mopped. It's Dupree there with the answer. Finds two. He might be good for three. Let's find out. Yes, sir, he is. Almost four. But RPK finally on the scene with an answer. In the last round of this half for Vitality. Oh, this nade could deal with RPK. Oh, oh they delayed what? it for just a moment, and that allows RPK safekeeping out of the site. The tank looking a roar to life here. Two to his name already. And he's not content with that. He wants the whole damn round to belong to him. RPK waiting patiently. Flash throwing in for Apex to enable a peek, but it doesn't blind Glaive. And now Apex is left in the clutch. Up above the smoke, spammed, finished off. The defuse comes in. And that will be Astralis narrowly securing four at the end of the first half. But this is night and day when compared to Nuke. Vitality leading by a huge margin, sat on 11. This game could get stripped away from Astralis and we might end up going all three. You're gonna have to join us in just a moment to find out if we do end up getting there.
Yeah. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. You know what time it is. It's time to jump in to the second half of play here on Vertigo. And what's already been a one-sided bout, it's not Astralis on the heavier end. Your heavyweights, your champions even, Astralis. They've done it before, but right now, insurmountable odds, 11 to four. Vitality know how to play the map of Vertigo, it seems. Yeah, excellent T-side. Astralis need to one-up it. It's not gonna be easy, but it all starts here and now. Vitality have won three out of three pistol rounds in this series. They may be a map down, but if they've got one thing to lean on, it's this round, and it could send them over the line and into dust too. But things all get very dusty indeed, but we're not there yet. Astralis with a lot of grenades going back towards A. Magis can't afford to die and lose that full set. Smoke flash HE. Shox is going to back up as he sees a few cross, and he's going to hear the feet pitter patter up towards the top of A. Do Astralis commit, however? Molly on the sandbags, being methodical first and foremost. Vitality set up with no grenades, but two flashbangs to play for the retake with that kit. Smoke's landing, and Astralis looks to commit. Oh, yeah, bye bye, Shox. To Shox. That nade. Yeah, he's gone. And there it is. The double nade into elevator. Now, Apex has just made like the death run over the short. And he's just lighting up the scoreboard from this position. Apex, another. And oh, no. Knives out, knives out. And Apex yeah. is going to get it. Four in the round. The knife kill to cement it. And 12 for Vitality. It's all gotten a little bit wild in the server, hasn't it? As now they sit with 12 to their name, no money for Astralis, Dupree's for sport before anyone else did. That's a sign of him wanting to get this over and done with as they bring <laughs> the Deegs and Tex into play. Yeah, again, okay, Vitality, all the pistols in this series. Astralis have won two out of the three forces. They got very close in the first half of this one, down to the one-on-one, -on -one. but let's see if they can do it again. Vitality have not been giving them an inch in this map. So there's no mile for Astralis to take. Smoked off at the bottom of B, Shocks and RPK keeping them out. Oh my word, they Molotov deep ramp to take this control. And at this point, Vitality, like, it doesn't take a mastermind to figure out where the enemy can be, right? They're either middle or they're B. And they're not middle. So where does that leave, Hugo? Uh, B. Oh dear, Magis might burn alive. One HP, an what? RPK somehow gets that over shocks. Don't know how Magix is still alive. Oh, Magisk is still alive. Magix, this ain't team spirit. Here's S-Tag getting dinked on the immediate flick from RPK. Vitality, they're looking so damn good in this game. Device down alone at ramp. Zywoo's seen him. And information is something now that Vitality are privy to, and they're going to start these early rotates. It's silence at B. And Zywoo's seen ah. a lot of numbers, including the bomb. He narrowly gets out of there. Masuta being on the scene now with all this utility is going to prove to be very, very valuable. Oh... Great grenade, Apex follows up, and he's just gonna slay them all. Three kills, four Apex, Vitality up to 13. And you can see the frustration, right? There's no guesstimations anymore. It's clear as day, Dupree does not like Vertigo, and he does not like what is happening in this map. 13 to four. Boy, oh boy, this is a dominant one from Vitality. Astralis just forced him back in, they've had enough. They're not even going to wait for their, their one buy round that they would have had in this half. It's not like they even made that close. I think they're already thinking about Dust too. Why wouldn't you be? This force screams that. One AK, it's got to do everything here on Magisk. Full send. Let's see what happens, Hugo. Yeah. Big shot from Device. A wall bang through that mid. Oh, man, I just don't even know. Doesn't seem fair, really, sometimes. All right now, all's fair in love and war, and there is no love in this game. It is just war. Magis with another one onto shocks. Glaive, he's crept up A. Zuta's shot in the spine, not going to be able to get out of there in time. Dupree does have B. That's something here for Astralis. They can bring the bomb over. They actually have both sides, or did, before they fell away from A and let Apex crawl back into place. He won't play into this round. Zaiwu could, however, but he's also begun his rotation towards A, reconsidering as things have gotten quiet. And he might start to hear the feet 
up the B ramp instead. Deep smoke towards the gen. Zaiwu, if you're Vitality, what do you do here, right? Do you go for this? Do you, do you even give it a go? Because you don't actually have any money because of, you know, well, I was going to say Astralis making their force close. They didn't really, but you've lost three here. So having a full buy in the follow-up is probably the right call and giving Astralis the respect as they demand it at times. Give them five. It's not that much, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, give them five. Whatever. We got 13 if you're Vitality, you know? Like, you can, you can have a little bit of a cushion here, which is certainly what they plan on doing. They save these two M4s and... Vitality will go up to five, or excuse me, Astralis will go up to five. That's what you expected to say, Tracer. Nah. I certainly didn't expect a 13-4 lead to Vitality, but they've gotten here well-deserved. But also, you look at a team like Astralis, and you expect them to have answers at every turn when I think a lot of their creativity and a lot of their cool you know, creative juices come out on their T-side. And that's when we see a lot of... Uh, I guess, innovation. So perhaps there's a reason that they've let this map go through to this point and they've said, you know what? Watch this. Hold yeah, Bond Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Exactly. If there was a time to prove themselves and, you know, remind us who they are, this is it. 13 to 5. Vitality, though, they have no interest in letting go of this game. Flashes up A early. Zywoo with a molly on ramp. Stratus only have one player working A. It's going to be Device alone. Mollied off is Zywoo. And it's all back to B for Astralis. It's all the ruse once again. Two in middle and allows fast rotations. Magis is going to throw a flash out to catch this B player. That's a uh, smoke. Smoke, rather. Going over. Yep. Block off CT. <laughs> Whoops. That's a nifty little smoke there. And allows you just to move in uncontested. And this might be a save. Vitality. Yeah. Like, nah, we know better than this. This one makes a lot more sense as well, right? Like losing the advantage, getting smoked out of your own bomb site, gambling on A anyway, as, as you often would. Yeah, I like that execute for Astralis. I just kind of assumed it would be a flash. I haven't seen that smoke before, but uh, definitely one to keep in mind now. Slow and steady, hey? Up to six, two in a row. And, you know, slowly building back into this, right? And Vitality, they're trying to play things smart by going for these saves. But you never know, right? You never... Oh, look, we have a bunch of people with the, the cat headbanging on their screen. I get sidetracked way too easily. Don't know what I was talking about. But I saw the cat headbanging, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Here's some flashes over towards the top of A. I can say what's going on on the screen as well. Really am a jack of all trades here. Apex moving over towards short side. He's going to get contested though. Well, he's not actually. Zaiwu just deletes S tag immediately. Man, advantage for Vitality. They haven't had many of these in the last few rounds. In fact, they haven't had any of these in the last few rounds. And so Astralis going to pump the brakes and slow it right down. Mizuta knows there's no mid luck. Glaive was trying to sell something there, but he's on top of the box and has just still been holding. So this fake, this feign on mid has not done anything. And now Vitality can sit back in the sight and relax. Great shot for RPK. Very weird position to catch out Dupree. And now Astralis say, hey, just have to hit the gas there to just go into the site. Magis with another one. Going to try and smoke off the generator. Shox is here. Bit of a bit of a battle. He's going to go through it with a flashbang as well. Two teammates swinging wide. They fall into the spray. Two for Device. But now it's up to Glaive. A lot of damage taken just from that Molotov alone. Down to 60 HP and standing over there on top of the sheetrock. It's going to be Apex. And we look at 14 for Vitality. As Hugo said, as you can see on your screen, Dust 2 will be where this gets decided. It could go to 3.
Yeah, I hope we get there, right? It'd be a great head-to-head -to, -head to see Device versus Zai Wu on that map there. And then also, like, it's one that Vitality are great on, and it's one that Astralis, you know, they used to be great on. So, yeah, and plus, like, the more we see this Astralis playing other maps, the better, you know? Like, because we still are figuring out where this map pool lies for this team, as are the rest of the teams here in the Pro League. So it's like by playing a map you've never played against them before, not only do you not know what you're expecting, but you're kind of like inadvertently helping the other teams piece together exactly where Astralis look good and where they don't. So isn't that nice of Vitality? What a class bunch of guys. Yeah, especially when, uh, you know, we, we have been seeing shocks on this orb, but we'll get back to that later because it's past Ooh. eight plays for Astralis. They finally yeah. go back to the site that has so much in store for them and take all the kills required, getting up through those smokes. And now four on two. Would you believe it? It's a save. Yeah, but do you think the tank is just going to die immediately to Dupree? Because yes. let me tell you, he is. Shocks, all alone, wants to get away with the AWP. But we all want things, and we can't always have things. Shocks, he wants and he has. And now, they know where he is. He's rung this dinner bell. And boy, oh boy, are Astralis hungry. I want to take the AWP away. They're all behind them. They are all behind him. Astute observation there. Now, Shocks, <laughs> having to adjust, looking through this smoke. Flashes going oh, over. Dude. Shocks, oh, he's so blind, he just didn't. Should have had faith. He had, he had the crosshair in the right place. But oh. never clicked mouse one. Yeah, you do need to click mouse one. Seems like a necessity well, you know, almost. If I, you know, back when I used to play with ult as shoot, that was never a shortcoming I had. Right. That was also, you know, we, we talk a little bit about foresight and, you know, hindsight around here. That was one of your better plays, I guess, was to change your shoot button. It was pretty bad. If you ever tried to bring up the scoreboard and you were shooting at the same time, just tabbed out there and then, obviously. Oh, yeah. So that was like one of the big downsides of that maneuver. Yeah, that one's pretty up there, I'd suppose. Harry, yeah, just stat obsessed. So he's always got the scoreboard open. He's always tabbed out. I just put it on my second monitor now. <laughs> <laughs> he rotates there. with it open always. Yeah. Knife out, scoreboard just watching. Little rat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll take that one. Right on the chin. Well, yeah. I'll be the rat prince. Rat prince Harry. I don't have the same ring as like fresh prince, does it? Here's my suit are over the ward short. Armed with a deagle and his wits. And it's the second one that's even deadlier than the first. Masuta. And Deagle is ablaze, but he's got to be straight fire here in this round. If Vitality want to reach map point on this force buy. This is a to say this is a heavy A setup is patronizing. We can all see the mini map. Look at it. F4. Masuta. Hope you're having fun, bud. Spam. There oh, he is. There's his revenge. Yeah, you can spam me through the wall, but I can just fight your head on and I'll win it out with the Deeg. Now it does get traded. It's an advantage for Astralis. Oh, oh my. Spamming. They're getting away with so much damage. Device. Ooh, he hits the player that he had no business hitting and leaves Shocks alive. Astralis are making the rotate happen into B, but Shocks does drop Device. Doesn't. Yeah, I was going to say. He, I imagine he was going to go for the AWP. Now, Dupree is here to protect it. He is that AWP's personal bodyguard. Well, he definitely knows that there's weapons down over there towards Scaffold. I mean, that was the first point of contest, right? So he's going to net himself an AK and a round that's all but lost just yet. 14 HP from Ajisk. Dupree waiting just to set a, a snare. And that's exactly what's going to get tapped, the snare. Oh, yeah, he couldn't get it. I was wondering. He, he did position very far away. Bit of an outplay onto Shocks, knowing that if he wasn't running CT, then he was rapping. And so Dupree kind of knew what was up, but he's too far away to save the orb. It's fine. Astralis have the money just, and we're at the point that, you know, if they lose a round, you know, it might just be GG at that point. All I have to say is when Dupree, one of the most smiley, nicest men in CS, and also one of the smartest and most composed, is flipping the bird to the, uh, to the screen, that's when you know that it could be a done deal. Astralis are making this interesting, though. They're making it interesting, they are. But it's only going to take one big play, and that's the worry, right? Like, you're not shy on players who can make that. Pl look at Device, man. Look oh. at that play. You're getting a play. What's up? Yeah, can he get all five? Mac 10, one mag. There's two, but S tag's like, nah. Takes two down himself. Magisk is there to, to help out at the very, very end. Nine on the board for Astralis. Now we have a reinvestment for Vitality. And that's the thing. I'm not like, 
I'm not against Astralis turning this back around. I definitely am not. But it is just the fact that that first half of play was so damn dominant from Vitality. It does scare me that this resurgence for Astralis, in, in spite of the kind of clear issues that were showing early on, has come so late in the game. You know, this isn't some comeback up against 13 rounds where you've got like that one round worth of buffer. You really don't have any of that. And so all it takes for Vitality is someone to make something magical happen. And lo and behold, here it is. Shocks with a double. And even though it's traded, it doesn't matter because the advantage still lies heavily with Vitality. Oh, yeah, dropping off is the right call there for Dupree. If he hit behind the wall, he would have got spammed. Does get up, but RPK hides behind the double stack and peeks out at the right time on the right side, finding that kill and leaving Magisk in a 1v4. Not an easy one. He's taking the first, but Vitality have heavy rotated. Two more to swing, and they just look so crisp right now. 15-9, to 9, winning all the fights. And Harry, you, you painted the picture perfectly, and it's immediately hung up in the gallery for all to see. Vitality with a 2K off the back of Shocks, trade their way to a win, and there's one more round between them and Dust2. That's a content idea. We're talking Harry Russell with watercolors. Like, I mean, just ah, wow. This man has a, an artistic mind. I'd love to see what his hands can do with it. Artistic yeah. is the word he used. Correct. Yeah, man, that's the thing. Like, I'm not much of an artist. I paint pictures with words, and even then, they're ugly pictures. Zai Woo. Going aggressive down towards ramps, spamming, but not finding. And now, short control, nabbed, grabbed by device. He's moved in. Glaive's out in middle as well in the meantime. Dupree still holding outside of Boone. Suta was what? looking to re-aggress, but S-Tag and Device, they have lit up the A-Site like a Christmas tree. And Zai Wu, Christmas Woo! is cancelled, haven't you heard? Zai Wu's in with three, the hat trick. And now Dupree and Glaive just left in a two on three. Somehow Zai Wu has stolen this round away from Astralis, single-handedly from the short side. It's the short stop of Zai Wu. And now this bomb plant looking to come in. Astralis, they've at least got the B site, but that's little to go off of. They've got to oh. fight back. That nade is just absolutely brutal. It's a taste of their own medicine, and RPK is administering it liberally. Zai Wu at the end in with four. The defuse found for Vitality, and they lock in that third map of dust. This game is set to continue.